The reason why you are not booking 10 calls a week from a cold email campaign is because you don't know how to scale the campaigns. You're focusing on small optimizations, tweaking the subject line, trying to A-B test the CTA, trying to find different templates online and just crossing your fingers and pressing launch and hoping that it goes somewhere. And there are four different steps to scaling a cold email campaign. And if you don't complete these steps in the correct order, you are not going to make it. So the first thing before moving up the pyramid that you need to figure out is foundations. The most important thing that is not going to only affect your cold email campaigns, but it's also going to affect your sales calls, your prices, your results. If you don't have the foundations dialed in before you move on to the next stage, it's not going to work out. With foundations, I mean your niche. Who are you selling to? Do you understand how to sell to them? Do you understand what are their biggest problems? Do you understand what kind of results they're looking for? Do you understand how they want these problems solved? Do you understand what they have tried in the past? Do you understand the terms that they use? Do you understand how how big these companies are? Do you understand where they are located? It can work in any niche. You just need to understand it. So don't get it mixed up. The second thing is your offer. What are you selling to this niche? Is it solving their problems? How has it been worded? How long of a time frame you have? What is the end result that it achieves? What is your pricing model? What is your guarantees? Does it resonate with the market? And the third thing is your funnel and your video sales letter. Is it correctly written? Does it communicate the value of your offer? Does it handle the objections of your prospects? Does it explain your core mechanism? Does it your core mechanism? Does it increase your status delta? And just by having these things dialed in, your niche, your offer, and your funnel, you can launch a shit cold email campaign and book calls. I have seen terrible cold email campaigns book 20, 30 calls a month just because those three things are dialed in. It's a basic lead source. It's poorly written campaigns. It has no follow-ups. The inbox management isn't done well, but it performs because you're selling something that somebody wants to buy and you're communicating in a way that they can understand it. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter what kind of fairy dust you sprinkle on top of your campaigns, shit's not going to work. Let's say you wake up one day and you decide you want to be the next big bodybuilder. You don't immediately day one go out there and just start injecting yourself with growth hormone and testosterone and all of these steroids. Obviously, you first have to make sure that your foundation is solid. You need to have a good workout program, you need to be sleeping good, you need to be eating good, you need to be stretching, you need to be recovering to actually get to the high level. You could go out there and just start blasting steroids and maybe you would see some gains immediately, but you would never get to the highest level. Same thing if you look at building a building. If you go out there and you build absolute massive skyscraper, you're going to just spend a year building solid foundation. And the same thing goes with cold email campaigns and with business. You first need to have these foundations dialed in so you are able to build on top of that and add all of these other things. Then comes step number two. This is when you are already running campaigns and you're already booking two, three, four calls a week. That's how you know that your foundations are solid. And here you activate manual enhancers. So pretty much what you start doing is you start focusing your inbox management. How fast are you replying to positive replies? This is when you start warm calling. This is when you start focusing more on follow-ups on prospects that ghost you. Just by doing this, you can easily double the performance of your campaign. You can hire an SDR and have them warm call and do inbox management and do the follow-ups. But in the beginning, you should do it yourself to actually learn it. So you start doing better follow-ups, more follow-ups, better inbox management, faster inbox management, warm calls as fast as you possibly can. And if you add that and pair that with good foundations, you're unkillable. Let's say you run a B2B leaching agency and you have a client that is paying you $300 per call booked. What if you start warm calling all of the positive replies and suddenly you start booking a call with every third person that you call? Instead of you booking one out of five, you book one out of three when you start doing warm calls. That would mean that you would get paid $100 for each call you take. And normally these calls take like two minutes. Hey John, I saw that you just replied to my email. Just wanted to quickly call you and ask what are you really looking for? Okay, perfect. We can for sure help you out with that. Do you have time on Thursday 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. for a call? I'll show you how everything works. And you can get paid $100 for that. If you can crush out those 10 a day, you're balling. And then you can go into the fairy dust. This is what everyone is so horned up about online. This is where you can start exploring with the AI personalization and all of these different strategies. There are a bunch of great tools. For example, Clay has been fucking crushing it. It's a bit more expensive, but that's why you need to have these two first levels dialed in first so your campaign economics actually supports you using a tool that costs a lot of money. This is where you can start exploring with custom SMTP servers for better deliverability. And then it's going to actually have a difference. In our community, Agent Velocity, every single day I see 
if someone coming up with something crazy, like a custom server or some of these crazy AI workflows and just sending these like, hey, here's an SOP, here's what I did. And then it takes six to 12 months. And then I see it on LinkedIn the first time. We have already been printing money with this for a year and you didn't even do it correctly. This is not super easy to find this alpha, but when you do, you shouldn't use it before you get these two levels done. And then we go into level four, which is super small specifics. Like this is when you start A-B testing things like your follow-up sequence and your subject line and your CTAs, your profile pictures and the gender of your sender. It is super rare to get here. Most likely when you get here, you're already making so much fucking money that you can do all of sorts of crazy stuff. If you run lead transition agents, you have some crazy case studies at here. So you probably are going to end up creating a new campaign and going here and starting this process again with a new angle, a new campaign, a new offer. It's fairly rare to get here. It takes already a lot of time. But if you super turbo scale something up to here, like you need to complete all of these steps here. Because otherwise, let's say you change your subject line and you take your open rate from 67% to 72%. It's going to make a difference. More people are going to see your message. But if your inbox management, if your warm calls, if your offer, and if all of these things are not hyper optimized, the impact is not going to be that great. But if you have a super hard hitter email campaign and then you get an extra 5% on your open rates, then it's going to once again have an impact and it's going to be worth for you to figure it out and test those things. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop me a comment and make sure that you don't scale like an absolute idiot. It's going to cost you a lot of money.